on this episode of Large Person Wanderings. We're out here at the Denver Federal Center and we are checking out the last remaining Denver and Interurban car number 25, which has been restored and is in wonderful shape. We're looking forward to having a fun ride on today. So come join us. So here we are on the interior of the interurban coach. You can see how wonderfully restored it is. It's in incredible shape and the wood uh, varnish is amazing on it. So, how's tell me today? <laughs> so how do you feel for your umpteenth train car train ride? Oh boy. <laughs> so many have lost count. So, anywho, um, the operators of the trolley today are the trolley. We run the smaller trolley down to the outfit trucks. It's got a lot of horsepower, it's raring to go. So, um, we run behind REI, come visit us. Run about 31 years now, along with Flat Rubber. We're the ones that are behind the Children's Museum. So we have free tickets we're giving out at the first booth as you get along. Anyway, this car was written in 1911 by the Robert Carriage Company. They were located with the Pepsi Center. They had a factory there and they built cars from different cities. They built seven of these. Um, and they ran on Route 84 from downtown Denver to Golden. And they booked and they were running. Here you can see what the controls look like and where the brake is and the throttle for it is. Every other seat underneath, you can see, has electric heaters. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, there so, you go. Capacity <laughs> is 52. <laughs> it weighs 29 tons. This is huge. And it's good to go. Hey, another thing, look at these pocket doors. You don't have to pull on both sides. Is that cool? Isn't that nice? I'd like to have that in my house. But that's great, great design. You see the signs that says spinning on the floor prohibited by law. The reason those signs are up there in those days was because of tuberculosis. So here's the generator car that they use to power it because they don't have any overhead catenary anymore. It's a large generator puts out 650 volts. Then we can see what the car looks like from a distance. This is the Denver Interurban Railroad number 25, which has been restored. It's the last of the Denver Tramway cars. You can see how much bigger it is compared to the one up in Fort Collins. So here we are looking at the shop where they restored this thing. So here's what an original flush shelter would have looked like for the trolley car system. And the other night thing about this trolley exhibit is they brought some vintage cars for us to enjoy as well. Here's a nice authentic 50s Chevrolet. There's my shot.
Here we are looking at a Model A with the rumble seat. On this episode of Large Person Wanderings, Tommy and I checked out the open house at the Federal Center. And at the open house of the Federal Center, they were running the restored Denver Tramway car number 25, and they also had a car show. Uh, it was definitely a lot of fun, worth checking out. It was a free event, and the uh, trolley car was in incredibly good condition, and it ran well, and we had a lot of fun. Um, if you're ever in the area when the event's going on, I highly recommend it to everybody. And as always, thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Jerome Cress. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Have a good day.